let's quickly review the treatment of cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is caused by a defect in the CFTR gene and the CFTR stands for cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator. The term uh, cystic fibrosis came because it the reason is formation of cyst and fibrosis in the pancreas of a patient and this is this type of genetic disorder is very common in Caucasians and Europeans and due to the CFTR gene defect the it causes the mutation in the CFTR channel this is a channel protein which is re responsible for conductance of chloride ions so when we have this CFTR channel defect it produces cystic fibrosis and the one of the major symptoms of cystic fibrosis is very thick and sticky mucus because uh, lack lack of chloride channel activity leads to the thickness of the mucus and the dryness of the mucus and one of the major complication is a lung infection the most of the people who are dying from cystic fibrosis is because of this respiratory disease and in case of cystic fibrosis the drugs we are using they primarily uh, can act in different levels the first one will be lumacaftor and ivacaftor so these drugs are also known as cftr potentiator so lumacaftor acts by correcting the cftr folding defect and ivacaftor works by increasing the cftr channel opening so it increases the chloride transport these uh, two drugs are also available as a combination so they are approved as a combinations for for most common cystic fibrosis mutation which is delta f508 and this combination is known as or can be the second group of drugs will acts on the sticky mucus they are also known as mucolytics and one of the most common drug is dornase alpha or palmozyme so these drugs are given as a nebulizer and they break down the dna of the mucus protein and these drugs are contraindicated in persons who are allergic to chinese hamster ovary products the next group of drugs will be antibiotic because for the for the treatment of lung infections the most common infection is caused by pseudomonas arizonosa type of bacteria and for this type of bacteria the antibiotics like tobramycin which is an aminoglycosides works very well against gram negative bacteria like pseudomonas and also we can use estrionam and this is a beta lactam antibiotic we have to remember the one of the most common side effect with tobramycin type of drugs are autotoxicity and tinnitus if uh, these drugs are not working they by nebulizer then we can use intravenous drugs like vancomycin and ciprofloxacin so these are our alternative antibiotics